Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk to all of you who are on the journey of manifesting your specific person. And I wanted to point out one thing that I feel is not talked about very much in the manifesting community, but that I have observed that is one thing that everyone manifesting a specific person has in common. And the reason why I want to mention it is because I think it holds a very, very important clue as to what kind of inner shift you need to be aiming towards in order to manifest your specific person. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So of course, as I'm sure you all know, there are a lot of people in the manifesting community who are manifesting a specific person. And of course, there are a lot of things in common among these people, but there is one thing that I have observed that everyone has in common who is manifesting a specific person. What is this thing? The one thing in common that I'm referring to is that everyone who is manifesting a specific person wants a specific person who is not chasing them and is not running after them. In fact, it's most common that the person who is manifesting the other person, the specific person, is the one who's doing the chasing or inclined to do more of the chasing, is the one who's doing or is more inclined to be doing the pursuing or most of the pursuing, and is the one who is most anxious for the things in the 3D to change with a specific person. What does that mean and why is it so important? It is very important because it shows you what kind of energy is attractive to pretty much everyone universally around the globe, regardless of culture, regardless of, I don't know, skin color, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of religion, and so on. The energy that is attractive to absolutely everyone is the energy of confidence, the energy of I don't need you, or at the very least, I don't need you in the sense that I don't associate my happiness with you. The energy of, I'm okay to walk away from you. The energy of, I don't need to chase you. I don't need to pursue you. I don't need to come after you. The energy of, I love myself and I want the best for myself. And I know that perhaps I have options. And in other words, an energy that is opposite to desperation, obsession, clinginess, neediness, associating someone with your happiness, needing someone to give you your happiness, needing someone to fulfill you as a person, and so on. I guarantee you, and I'm willing to bet on what I say, that if your specific person was showing up as needy, obsessed, clinging on you, placing the burden of their happiness on you, chasing you, creating scenes, saying yes to everything you said, putting you on such high a pedestal where it would look like they are devaluing themselves and not valuing themselves enough, you would either be instantly put off by them and no longer attracted by them because their energy would be repelling you, or in some cases, you might feel flattered for a while, you might enjoy it for a while, you, you might even bask in it for a while, but before long, before too long, you would start losing respect on them, you would start taking them for granted, and your attraction towards them would become less and less and less over time because there is no way an energy of lack, an energy coming from lack of self-esteem, an energy of desperation is not repelling to the other person, no matter who the other person is and no matter how much they might love you. So if you guys take an honest look at what all of you manifesting a specific person have in common, this is that you want someone who is displaying, in some way or another, a confident energy. An energy that says, in some way, that I don't need you or I don't associate you with my happiness. An energy of I'm not going to chase you. An energy of I'm not going to run after you. And so on. And I hope that by now you're starting to understand why this is so important and why I'm mentioning it because there's a very good chance that many of you, I'm not going to say all of you, but many of you are either engaging or have engaged in the past 
in behaviors, repelling behaviors like the ones I just described. And this is also your answer and your clue as to why perhaps your specific person ran farther away from you instead of coming closer to you. And the reason why this is such a major clue for your manifesting going forward is because this exact confident energy, this energy of I don't need you, I don't need to chase you, I don't need to pursue you, I don't need to run after you, I don't need to be obsessed with you, I'm not needy of you, I'm not clinging on you, and so on, is the kind of energy that you should be looking to adopt for yourself in order to bring back your specific person's attraction towards you, or to gain your specific person's attraction towards you if they were never attracted to you in the first place. The same reason why you're attracted to them because of their self-love, their self-esteem, their self-confidence, their lack of chasing, their lack of neediness, and their lack of obsession, is the exact same energy that is going to make them feel attracted to you if you're able to develop a similar energy, a similar energy of self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, not neediness, not desperation, not obsession, not making scenes, not creating drama, not being triggered with every little thing, and so on. And the interesting part about that is that you don't even have to do or say anything. We are talking about energy. We are talking about a connection on the energetic level. Even if you don't do or say anything in the 3D, even if you're in no contact with them in the 3D, if your energy towards them is still an energy of despair, neediness, obsession, associating them with your happiness, chasing them in your head and chasing them energetically, they still receive it subconsciously, you guys, and they still are subconsciously compelled to reflect it back to you like the mirror that they are. And that means you're coming from the energy of lack and they are equally compelled to reflect that energy of lack back to you. So if your energy towards your specific person, whether that's in the 3D and energetically or just energetically, is that kind of repelling energy that I just discussed, this is what you want to start working on in order to put yourself on the pedestal. Lose that neediness, lose that obsession, lose that association and attachment in your mind, attaching your happiness to them. You want to become more fulfilled within yourself, regardless of your specific person. And that automatically is going to help you lose the obsession, lose the neediness, lose the urge to cling on them, which automatically, even if you're in no contact, on the energetic level, is going to make you way, way, way more attractive to them and they're going to receive that new energy. And what's going to happen is that they will start feeling much more attracted to you. The exact same way you're feeling attracted to them for these exact same reasons. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.